guys, before we get to the drawing part, I wanted to touch a little bit on uh, inspiration, on the subject of inspiration. And I have lots and lots of books which I, again, have accumulated over the years. And uh, some of them, i just move these out of the way. These ones here, uh, they were, I actually found out about these books from uh, another really excellent uh, Skillshare uh, teacher. Um, she's really great. She's uh, Christina Uchtrans. I hope I'm saying that right. And she used uh, these books in uh, one of her class. Uh, I can't remember which class it was, uh, but um, they're very difficult to find, I'm afraid. I mean, I, I can try and uh, uh, share the links for this um, or, or the titles. And uh, actually, I talk about these books in another class, which is how to make a, a pattern repeat tile by hand. So you can have a look there as well. Um, but I just wanted to show you because uh, you might be able to find uh, some of these uh, still, uh, although they are, as I say, very difficult, but they are a really great um, source of inspiration. Uh, see, I got some uh, bookmarks here because you can just uh, have a look and sort of get inspired for uh, leaf shapes and flower shapes. So there's lots and lots of uh, different uh, plates, um, which is uh, it's more close to botanical painting, but um, you just need these for inspiration, really. Never copy, please. Um, but it's uh, it's great. You can you know see how everything is uh, uh, is put together as well. And there is there are different ones for flowers, for uh, house plants or garden plants. Uh, there's a uh, one for birds as well, which is uh, quite cute, um, fish, <laughs> and so on, some insect ones, uh, butterflies and bees, and so on. Um, so these are a really great um, source of inspiration, and if you can find them, I mean, they are written in, the, in um, Swedish, <laughs> which is, uh, it doesn't really help a lot, but if you only need them for the pictures, for inspiration, then it's just fine. And uh, very often there's a, a Latin um, name as well for for the animals and for the plants. So you can still go and check these on, on Google, for example. Uh, if you want to see the actual plant, you can have a look at the Latin name. So there's not much writing. There's a bit of writing at the end. But for designing inspiration, they are fantastic. If you can't find these, um, I got them from a Swedish um, website, which uh, it was quite fun trying to get to understand each other. <laughs> but um, there you go. So if you can't find those books, um, which are quite uh, rare now, you can always try and find something like this. These are all from uh, Amazon, I think. And these are new editions of very old books. So this one is uh, Wildflowers of Britain. Uh, month by month, so you have uh, different flowers for each month of the year. So we have June here, we have July, uh, still July. There's a few pages for each month. There's August, and they are beautiful. As you can see, there's lots and lots of inspiration um, in here, and because they're divided by month, you know which flowers are flowering every month, and you can do like a themed uh, type of design. So, and this in each page, there's so much inspiration. If you look closely, there's different shapes, there's seeds, there's leaves, uh, flowers, and uh, absolutely fantastic. So I would recommend you get this book. And then this one is the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady, which is quite uh, nice as well. The illustrations are a bit more loose, but again, um, for inspiration, it's lovely. You get eggs, you get um, birds in here. And there are also insects. And again, I think this is uh, sort of month by month as well. Yeah, yeah. so there's May. Uh, and then uh, you have plants. And it's nice to, to read as well. She sort of describes the life and uh, nature during the different months. 
So as you can see, it's quite good as well. And this you can still find um, on Amazon, I suppose. And this is uh, country f uh, uh, the country flowers of a Victorian lady. So this again is a slightly different uh, type of art again, but um, you get uh, lots of um, arrangements. So it's quite good to give you ideas of what to put together. Um, get some uh, snowdrops there. Let me see if I can show you a bit more. So different again, different plants um, arranged together. So that's quite nice too. Some nice camellias. So and these are just good to look at, really. Even when you have five spare minutes and you want to relax with a cup of tea, these are lovely books. And then of course there are different books as well. So this one I got it. Uh, in uh, Kew Gardens and it's a, a book about uh, food plants but it's got also beautiful illustrations here so you have different types of um, uh, of plants so there's the nuts and tropical legumes and more legumes and uh, so apples and for each type you have a page full of all the different stages as well and the same families of um, uh, of the plants, so it's uh, it's quite lovely as a uh, reference as well. So this one I'm pretty sure you can still find because it's quite a, a recent uh, book. So lots and lots of uh, inspiration here as well. And uh, this is also from uh, Kew Gardens, and it's a lovely book. It's a, it's all about trees. So. But you get this sort of illustrations as well, which uh, can also be used as a uh, source of inspiration, because you don't you don't only have the full tree, you have um, the leaves, the leaves and uh, um, seeds. So that was the lady that did it, and uh, so beautiful, beautifully done illustrations here. So. Oh, I love this tree. This is called the tulip tree, and uh, it's just a wonderful tree. You get these flowers blossoming on the tree, which looks amazing. Okay, I'm digressing. <laughs> so this is another book that is quite nice to have. And of course, there's still your normal like guides. That you can get these on butterflies, on uh, fish, I think. This is on birds. So there are pictures and there are... Uh, drawings, illustrations. So again, you can uh, take inspiration from these and uh, use it for your drawings. And I think these are all the books that I want to show you um, at the moment. Uh, but there's lots and lots more. And of course, there's always Pinterest. You can just go online and uh, search or you can go on Google and search for a particular flower or plant or animal, whatever you like. Uh, but I do like to look at books. It's um, uh, such a nice feeling to just uh, go through the pages of a book. And it's there, it's next to you. You can just use it uh, without having to look at a screen all the time. Okay, I think we are ready to move on. So I'll see you in the next lesson.